Well, he had that ramshackle shack next to the abandoned railway tracks. He's got a view of the four lane whose home replaced the rattling train. He can see that little white cross where the teenage mom was killed, but he likes to look at the big old pine trees up on the grassy hill. You know, the folks in the cars might see him splitting firewood out in the mud. They can't hear the gratifying thud or feel the warm rush of his blood. They might say, oh man, look at that wretched soul. But he's feeling a bunch of nice stuff that they'll never know. At the base of the escarpment, he's got a little stash. There's more to this man than just a ramshackle shack. He's turned his back on it all, don't you ever think he's dumb? And if you ask him about his life, he'll say, hey, my life, you want to know about my life? My life's a plum. He straps on the knapsack, come on, dog, let's skedaddle. We got a four-hour walk before we hang up the saddle. When they found that little patch, by the stony creek. He said, shiver me timbers, pooch, this can't be beat. And there was one lone boulder in that field, right in the center. He said, hello, big boy, will you be my mentor? He sits on that rock, he doesn't think a thought. And before too long, he's lifted to the higher spot. When he does slide down, he said, okay, I've been to church. Now let's piss on the campfire, start to go on home march. You ask his sister in the hair salon, where does he go for a day? She'll just smile and say, well, okay, little bro's got peculiar ways. But I sure hold him in high regard. He's very good to my little boy and me. Look at the fort they made up in there, way up there. In a hickory tree. Well, he can't help but to compare himself to the folks in the cars. Concerning how we all relate to this great mother earth of ours. Uh, he thinks of the human race as a parasitic swarm. He gets a little comfort in thinking maybe he's doing less harm. 